So without any delay, let's connect with an expert to discuss the upcoming interest rate adjustment. We have Professor Shim myung -gyu from Yonsei University with us this morning. Good morning, Professor. Good morning. The Bank of Korea, according to many analysts, as I've said before, is expected to raise a key rate by a smaller margin of 25 basis point this time. What's the reason behind this change of pace? Uh, the first reason would be that the U.S. inflation rate was lower than the market expectation in October. While the rate was 7.7%, which is still high, it was below the expected rate 7.9%, implying that the peak of the inflation rate might have already passed. As was mentioned by the governor, Chang yong wee in a conference two, two weeks ago, this is good news and less in the short run. Hence, the Fed might take a big step rather than the giant step in the next meeting, giving the BOK a room not to raise the rate that much in today's meeting. Secondly, the exchange rate, which is another factor that has pushed the BOK to raise the rate quickly, has fallen during the last month. The value of Korean won relative to US dollar has increased about 6%, which also lowers the incentive of the BOK to raise the rate to prevent the depreciation of Korean won, as a concern for capital outflow might have been lowered. Right. Now, even if it's a 25 basis point rate hike, still, that would make the rate, current rate be at 3.25% at, at a time when many, including those with mortgages, are under increased financial burden. So. When do you think we'll begin to see lower rates and what are some signs that people can look forward to? Oh, well, uh, I still expect that the BOK would keep up with the Fed by steadily increasing the rate until there is a clear sign that the Fed would stop the contractionary policy and the inflation rates both in Korea and the U.S. are at the range that central banks target. Hence, as the Chairman Powell noted earlier this month, it is very likely that the interest rate will rise until the next year. As I told you earlier, inflation rate is still very high, both in the US and in Korea, which is far beyond the level that we can endure. Since the most important objective of the central bank is to keep price stability, as the governor emphasized about two weeks ago, I think the most important sign that we should look at is the inflation rate as usual. If the in inflation rate falls for several consecutive months, I guess that will be the sign that the monetary authority would become less hawkish. Another sign that we need to care is the GDP growth rate. While the inflation rate is the most important variable for the BOK, it cannot ignore the possibility of the upcoming recession. Hence, if the GDP growth rate becomes much worse than market and the BOK expect, that might also affect the stance of the monetary authority. Right, and I think you put it perfectly. And like it, speaking of the growth, the BOK is also releasing its economic outlook for the country for next year. Growth is currently forecast at 2.1% for 2023. But many analysts believe it will be lower than that. What has changed since the most recent forecast was released? Uh, so, the market seems to expect that the BOK, as well as the other institutions like Ministry of Strategy and Finance, will lower their forecast on GDP growth rate, which is a natural consequence of, first, contractionary monetary policy all around the world, and second, supply disruption due to the Ukraine Russian war. So, in terms of the effects of such adjustment forecast on the real economy, I think it will not impact that much as it is already well expected by the market. First, for instance, KDI has already lowered its expected GDP growth rate from 2.3% to 1.8%, and IMF has also cut down its expectation on the growth rate in 2023 from 2.1% to 2%, and they are all the results of steadily high inflation rate as well as the problem that I just mentioned of the possible long supply disruption. Hence, there might exist a negative signaling effect from the BOK if it really announces lower expected rate 
on the stock market. But I guess there is not that much effect of the revised outlook on the real economy. Well, thank you so much for your insights this morning, Professor, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.